and gentlemen, and welcome back to another Brick in the Mall. I certainly hope you're having a wonderful day because I'm certainly excited to be back here at the mall where things are going pretty darn well. It is the beginning of day 129. We've got a couple of angry people leaving the main mall over here. I'm pretty sure they're coming out of, uh, out of here, out of McDillon's, which is currently absolutely filthy. So what I'm thinking is that we're gonna need to get more janitors, but the problem is getting more janitors over here Probably not a good idea. They're pretty far away from the mall. They're not gonna do a lot to clean this area So what we're gonna do is we're gonna build some new foundations and we're gonna build them just here like that And we're gonna do the same down here as well. We're gonna get two new maintenance areas today at least two kick today off. We're gonna get these two new maintenance areas. What we'll do as well is get ourselves some staff doors and we'll throw them there and just up there as well. We'll speed things up a little bit and get that done hopefully nice and quickly. So what this will mean is I can have some janitors working in this main mall and hopefully they'll keep things relatively clean. That's the uh, that's the dream anyway. So let's go ahead and get ourselves a nice maintenance center here. We'll go ahead and just drag that out. So that's going to be maintenance center one. We're going to rename that. So if we go to manage maintenance center one, uh, that is just going to be renamed to mole uh, maintain, maintain ants. That's it, right? That's, that's the spelling we're looking for. So mole maintenance is going to be right there. We're going to hire some staff. We'll get ourselves some janitors. I'm not too worried about the builders. It is the janitors that I'm looking for. Anyone any good at being a janitor? Um, not really, but I guess if we go for you, you will get better at it eventually. So you're going to be hired and you're going to be working from midnight for uh, eight hours. We're going to hire someone else. We're going to get you. And you are going to be working from eight in the morning for eight hours. And we'll go ahead and hire you as well. And you're going to be working from four in the afternoon for eight hours. So we have three janitors who are going to go ahead and uh, maintain the mole all through the day. Of course, the other janitors will be helping as well. But I'm hoping that having these janitors in here nice and close to the mole is going to be a good thing. Now, something I would like to do today is go ahead and start filling up the rest of the stores around here. I'd also like to get rid of the bowling alley over here. Is the bowling alley making us much money? That's the question. Is Big Bowls making a profit at the moment? It is not really making much. So, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to remove Big Bowls. We'll rebuild it eventually. But for the time being, I would quite like to uh, to be rid of it so we can expand our parking area up that way a little bit uh, and sort of have it be symmetrical with the mole itself over here. Eventually, of course, we will look to uh, get rid of OBLS as well. We'll be wanting to get rid of these guys as well, but that's all uh, stuff that's going to be happening in the hopefully not too distant future. So, store 23 over here. We're going to go to objects, we're going to go to clothing rack, and, uh, well, actually, let's go to checkout counter first and see what we can do with those. So if we put a checkout counter there, uh, we could put another one there, then have all the clothes over on the, uh, over on this side. But I kind of like the idea of having the checkout counter sort of like that, so that they're, you know, at either end of the store, then all the clothes are in the middle. But that does seem like it would be a little bit weird. What if we were to do that? And that, possibly? I don't know if that works. Not entirely convinced that. Can I cancel that? Hold on, let me pause the game while I figure this out. Uh, so if I was to put that just there, and then turn one around and have it be there, I guess that sort of works. It just gives me this space where, it, I mean, that, that'll have to do, I guess. We'll go ahead and, like, deconstruct that one. So we'll go to build, we'll go to remove walls and objects. Oh, I do not want to do all of that. Uh, cancel all of that. Let me just remove those ones. I know that looks a little bit weird, but I just want to go for it. I want to go for something a little bit different for this clothing store. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get ourselves some clothing racks sort of like this, just uh, all the way down here. We can get a couple in the middle there as well. We can get some more over on this side as well, leaving some gaps there, of course. And uh, we could also go ahead and, I suppose, throw in some... What is it we need for for the shoes? I've completely forgotten. If we go have a little look over here, it is going to be... Um, 
where is it? Is it that's regular looking shelves, isn't it? So we're gonna want to get some regular shelves in here. We'll go ahead and uh, you know what? Get rid of those clothing racks in the middle, and we can throw the shoes and the lingerie onto uh, those bits. And that should be totally fine. So that's gonna be that's gonna be the new clothing store, and I I kind of like it to be honest. I could do something there as well if I wanted to, but I think I'll skip out on that. I could uh, I could very well do something down here as well. Which is kind of tempting. We'll do a couple of things like that. And uh, maybe we'll get some impulse buys from uh, from that little area. But we'll see what happens. So we'll get store 23 to be built up. As for store 28, I like the idea that it could become a new sort of electronics shop. Now, obviously, we have a camera store and like an Apple store. This is, what is this? What do we call it? The Nerdsoft store? Some, we call it something. I completely forgot. I'll have a look in a second. But we have these two stores. But we, I do still want to have like one big tech store. You know, you go there for your generic kind of purchases, but you go to the specialist store if you happen to know what you really want. So I do think having a, a sort of more generic technology store could be a good idea. But then again, maybe a store where you just get like video games and consoles and like Blu-rays and DVDs and all that could be fun as well. Let's try that. Let's, let's give that a shot. So what do we need for this? We need some, we do need shelves, but we also need the tables. So this store over here, We'll get the checkout counters. What we'll do is one checkout counter there. Then the other one, I believe, goes just there. And then we're going to get ourselves some tables like this. And those are going to have consoles on them. And what we'll also do is have like consoles on just all of these tables, which is maybe a little bit excessive, but that's fine. Uh, then the video games can go at the back, sort of like this. So you've got all of these consoles sitting up front, so people are going to walk in and be like, Yo, I want to get myself that new PlayStation, or that new Xbox, and they just buy it. Just immediately, they just buy it. Uh, so, we'll see what happens with that. Uh, we do need to assign these stores some storage areas. So we have, this is store 23 if I'm not mistaken. Uh, now this is going to be a clothing store. What do we call the other one? Because th this is just going to be... It was Rural Outfitters. So let's go for Rural Outfitters. Uh, so Rural Outfitters. Just like that. Which is... Gonna confuse things slightly. Because I'm pretty sure the original Rural Outfitters is making a lot of money. But that's totally fine. So this is Rural Outfitters. It's gonna open at 9 in the morning. It's... Well, you know what? Let's have it open at 8 and stay open for... Um, it's 16 hours. Let's have it close at midnight. So it's a pretty, it's open late. It's a clothing store that's open pretty late. And that's probably okay. Or maybe it opens at 7 or something. But I, I think we'll be fine as is. If we assign some storage, I think we'll go mole storage. Um, I guess mole storage 1 will do the job for that. And that'll be totally fine. So let's get ourselves some staff. Who are we going to get here? You're a pretty good cashier. Uh, you're a pretty good cook. You're a pretty good cook as well. You're pretty good. So we'll go for you. Uh, and we'll go for you as well. So you two can start at 8 in the morning. And that'll be totally fine. We'll get another cashier coming in. You're okay. You're a bit of a builder, but that's okay. Uh, you're going to start at 4 in the afternoon. And you as well, sir, are going to start at 4 three in the afternoon and that'll be okay. You're gonna finish after seven hours. So there we go. Rural Outfitters is sorted. We do need some stock clerks though. So we'll get uh, you in here and you're gonna start at eight. And you, I guess, can start at, uh, let's have a little bit of overlap. Let's have you start at noon and let's have you actually start a little bit earlier at like, uh, let's say five in the morning. So that should be okay. So hopefully that does a good job. Obviously we need to assign some uh, some products to this place. So we'll begin with, uh, what have we got? T-shirts, pants, dresses. So there's six different things here. And there's four spaces for them. So let's do, I mean, everything, you need pants with a lot of these things. Like maybe not dresses, but I don't know. I mean, you could wear, I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to pretend like I know clothing. You could wear pants under your dress. I mean, it depends on your definition of pants, I suppose. If you're going with the American definition of pants, then maybe you don't wear pants with your dress. If you're going with the, <laughs> the rest of the world's definition of pants, you probably do. 
I've never got that with America. Uh, that was, um... That's, that's always really confused my grandparents, mostly. When an American refers to, like, their pants. And my grandparents are like, whoa, hold up a minute. Don't need to know about your- Oh, you mean those pants? Okay, I get it now. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm is it the rest of the world that refers to it as, like, your underwear or something? I, I, like, we did that- Because we do in the UK. Like, when you say your pants in, in the UK, it means your underwear. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why I'm I'm going on about this. It's really not a big deal. Uh, let's throw some shirts on there. Let's get some shirts on there. Let's get some jackets on there as well. Let's swap this out for some coats over here. And that'll be okay. So we've got a lot of dresses on sale. That's fine. Uh, let's get some clothing in here. So we'll go for men's shoes and we'll go for uh, men's underwear. Then we'll do some women's shoes and some women's lingerie over there. Then at these shelves here, what are we going to go for? We could throw some toys in. We could throw some health and beauty stuff could be an idea. Now, that's not a bad idea. That's that's like some cosmetics in here could really that could be a pretty good idea. Let's get let's just get some cosmetics in there. And over here, we could do some deodorants, I suppose. We'll go for deodorants and some soaps. So there we go. That's Rural Outfitters. The new Rural Outfitters is uh, pretty much good to go once the stock clerks get in here. Also, this place is still filthy. Like horrendously, horrendously filthy. Anyway, Store 28 is going to need some love over here. So we're going to pretty much do nothing but uh, games consoles in here. Like, is there anything else we could do? Not really. Games consoles, for the most part, are going to be the bread and butter of, uh, of this store. So just nothing but games consoles. Just everywhere. Okay, well, the good news is that the new Rural Outfitters is proving to be a bit of a success. People are, in fact, shopping over here. And the games store over here is going to be good to go fairly soon. We've got some uh, stock coming in over here. We don't have anyone stocking the shelves yet, but hopefully that'll happen soon enough. You might be wondering, what's the game store uh, called? Well, I decided to go with Plebs with a Z because glorious PC Master Race, and this place is selling consoles. Uh, <laughs> this coming from some, before you start, before you start in the comments with your, oh, that's not fair. I've been playing a lot of my Xbox One recently, so shut up. It's a joke, okay? I don't care what people play their games on, because gaming in general is really bloody cool. Console, PC, handheld, it's a damn cool hobby. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Doesn't matter what you're playing on as long as you're having fun. All right? Just just throwing that out there. Anyway, plebs will be working as of tomorrow. The stock, uh, the stock will start getting moved in here at about 5 in the morning. Uh, Rural Outfitters, I can't imagine this place is making much money. And I can't imagine that because, well, actually, you know what it is. That's not bad. That's actually surprising. Okay. Uh, well, what we're going to do is we're going to head over here. And we're going to get rid of the original Rural Outfitters. Uh, the original Nerdresoft store could probably go soon as well, but the, we'll get rid of this first. So the original Rural Outfitters is gone. We're going to go to build. We're going to remove all the objects in there as well, uh, because again... We just don't really need it. Uh, so the original Rural Outfitters, gone. We've moved it into the mall, and uh, that's hopefully going to keep people relatively happy. Now, what I can do is go ahead and start working on the new rows of um, road work over here. So what we're going to want to do is throw ourselves a road just in... Uh, we want some parking along there. So we need a road there? Really? Oh, yeah, we do. We do totally need a road there. So we're going to have a road go along there, then up like that, then across there. I think it goes like that, doesn't it? Yeah, it goes the whole way along. Uh, so it goes like that. And that's fine. Then we need another gap of two. 
Uh, then another road, so that, that, and then that. Then those can connect together like that. And that should make things relatively symmetrical. Now that bit of road should continue there. And we do actually need to go ahead and remove the bus stop that's in that space. I'm going to want to move that completely. Uh, now what I can do, what I can do and what I'm excited to do here is go to road work and say, Hey, why don't we add a bus stop there? Or even there could be a really good spot. Oh, hello. That's not a bad idea at all. Let's put a road there and a road there. And we can get some bus stops right in like that. That's a pretty good idea, if I do say so myself. We'll also get some uh, some customer parking just along all of this space here. Like so. We'll get a road in there as well. And now that's going to take a little bit of time to do, but that should be okay. Now, if we have a look here, restaurants are a bit of a concern at the moment. Uh, I assume... When was that complaint? That was made in the middle of the night, so people are wanting some 24-7 restaurants. Uh, OBLS still has some ridiculously long queues. Mall Movies had a long queue, apparently. And Rural Outfitters as well. Oh yeah, Rural Outfitters is surprisingly busy. That is genuinely surprising to me. Did not expect that to, uh, get that busy at all, but I assume that's gotta still be making some money, right? I have to assume that's still making some money. If it wasn't, I'd be, uh, very concerned indeed. Either way, the roads up here are done. There seems to be a- there was a tree left. There is a tree there when I zoom in, or zoom out, rather, but that's fine. Oh, these roads are done! Beautiful! What's the complaints? Restaurants. Okay, well, we'll deal with that in a moment. Uh, let me get a bus stop there. And there. And I reckon those are gonna be some really, really good spots to have bus stops in. Because they're super close to the mall, like, they're just right in front of it, so that's gotta be good. That's gotta be good right there. Either way, I will say, I'm really, I'm really liking the, the way this place is turning out. I'm really, really keen to, uh, continue expanding it. The problem is, it costs so much money to, uh, to build this thing. And I mean, I do want to get another, uh, another, what do you call it, bowling alley in here at some point, but... Man, it's gonna, it's gonna be a while before we can, uh, reasonably do that. I'm also thinking... I'm gonna go and remove some more road work. So I kind of want to, um, I kind of want to make this area just a little bit better. So I'm going to remove all of that and remove all of that. And I'm going to remove those bits too. Just to sort of filter traffic through here a little bit more. I might do the same over here as well to sort of encourage people to use this parking lot. So what I'll do is clear out all of that as well. So all of that's going to go. And yeah, that's gonna that's gonna be a way of saying, hey, maybe maybe go over this way. That's that's kind of what I want. I'll get rid of that bit too, and then go ahead and add in some road work just over here. So we'll get a road in there. Then we'll put some more customer parking in this little space, and that should be totally fine. Now, obviously, some of the customers aren't gonna be too happy about having to walk some significant distance to get to where they want to go, but they're gonna have to deal with it because I'm not really interested in. Uh, in changing much else with regards to the, uh, the parking at the moment. I will say, this is starting to shape up exactly the way I want it to in my head. Obviously, apart from the fact that OBLS is still out here and these guys are still up here. But this is sort of what I, I was seeing in my head. This kind of thing here, where we have this giant parking lot and then this giant mole that's gonna, you know, eventually be the size of the parking lot. So, we're definitely getting towards where I want to be with regards to, um to this mall. Uh, what I'm actually going to do as well is come off the- oh, what have we done here? What is this? Wait a minute, we had 500 customers on site? Did we? We had 504! Oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool indeed. Either way, gonna get some more, uh, drop-off zones over here, gonna get another garbage area, because I might as well. Uh, so if we go to loading zones, in fact, let's just do more loading zones in here. Uh, sort of like that and like that. Uh, because... I kind of like the idea of wrapping them all around this, uh, the loading space. I think that could be a pretty cool idea. Also, how much traffic is heading out there? So much of it. Oh yeah, people really want those restaurants to be 24-7. Let's give that a shot. Let's see if we can, uh, maybe get McDillon's over here to be a fairly successful 24-7 restaurant. So, if we have ourselves a little look... Where exactly 
is McDillon's. There it is. So it's got a 73% profit margin, which is beautiful news. Uh, and I think it's got the highest profit it's ever had. But we need it to open at midnight and stay open 24-7. So we need to figure out how this is going to work because it's going to be tricky. So all of the cashiers that start at 8 are now going to start at midnight. Uh, so you all are going to start at jolly old midnight. Now you work 7 hours, that's fine. You work 7 hours as well, that's fine. Now you start at 4. So instead of doing that, start at 8. Then that should be okay. Uh, and this should be an easy, this should be an easy enough way to shuffle things around, right? Uh, so if you start at 8, I assume you start at 3. Yeah, so you're going to start at 7 at this point. Uh, and you are also going to start at 7. Now, you guys do work for 8 hours. That's fine. Um, that's that's totally fine by me. So if you, start at, if you start at 8 and you work for 8 hours, you'll finish at 4. You're going to be finishing at 3. So we need two people to come in at 3 and work for 8 hours, but that's fine. As for the cooks, we're going to have them do similar. So all of the 8 o'clock cooks are going to start at midnight now you work for seven hours that's okay we have we never have more than three cooks at any one time do we so really you could work for the full eight hours there because then the next three can come in and just use the other three uh cooking ranges back there so you guys all come in at eight o'clock uh you come in at eight o'clock as well and then we need three more cook cooks cooks that was a combination of cook and clerk uh but we'll worry about that uh you can come in at midnight and you can come in at 8. We'll get another one here. Anyone good? At, you're very good at what you do. Uh, so you're going to come in at uh, not midnight. You're going to come in at 4 o'clock. So that should be fine. We should be okay with the stock clerks. What we need is three more cooks and a few more cashiers. Now, how many do we have at any one time? One, two, three, four, five, I think. I would assume five or maybe six. Uh, I think five currently. I can't imagine we're going to need five overnight, but we'll give it a shot anyway. Same with the cooks. Can't imagine we're going to need three of those overnight, but we'll keep that going as well because we can probably afford it. So you, sir, are going to come in and start at uh, six o'clock. Uh, four o'clock, actually. That's not six o'clock at all. Uh, you, anyone good at being a cook around here? I don't necessarily need to worry about them being good at what they do because eventually they will level up in it anyway. Uh, so you are going to be hired as a cook and you are also going to come in at four o'clock and we'll get one more as well. We'll go for uh, you and four o'clock. So that should be okay. <clears throat> okay. Excuse me. I'm a little bit ill at the moment still. I think I mentioned it either last episode or an episode before that I was a little bit ill. I'm still a little, little bit ill. Uh, now let's go ahead and get more cashiers in here. Now, you're pretty good at what you do, so you are hired. Sir, you are going to begin work at um, 4 o'clock for 8 hours. And let's... You know what? I was I was about to say that we'll cut this out, the rest of this out of the video, but we're so close to being done with this that you're, you're going to watch this, damn it! Alright? I have to do this! <laughs> I have to do this! I don't get to cut this out of my life! This is tedious every time, okay? <laughs> Every time. Always tedious. But it is part of the game, and I like this set of management things, so it's fun. Um, right, so you start for Why is there a big dip there? That's very strange. Let's get one more cashier in here. Uh, we'll go for... Uh, we'll go for you. That'll be fine. So, 4 o'clock, right? Why is there that big dip? That's really strange. Uh, you work at 3, and you work at 3. There we go! Okay, so McDillon's should now be a 24-7 fast food place. That'll hopefully keep people happy. Now, I don't know when the workers are going to get in here, but they'll do it eventually. I'm also thinking I probably want to hire more janitors for the new maintenance area. So, um, where it's around here somewhere. Mole maintenance. Staff, janitors. Anyone good at being a janitor? Uh, not really, so we'll get, uh, we'll get you. And you can start at, uh, you can start at midnight. We'll get, uh, we'll get you, and you can start at eight, and we'll get you as well, just there. And, uh, you can start at four, so there we go. That should be totally fine. This place is still not working, but I imagine this 
this should be relatively successful, right? We should start seeing some money coming in from uh, the 24-7 fast food place. I'm definitely keen to see if we have some money coming in. I'm going to be disappointed if we don't. I realize people are in making orders. We don't have cooks over here. We don't have anyone actually, you know, making food. We have some people turning up to start. But the stock clerks aren't even here. Like, there, I think that's a stock clerk there. Yeah, so you're going to start delivering some stuff. This is going to be a pretty rough day for for the fast food place. Unless we can start getting people their food real quick, this is going to be a, a pretty slow day. Definitely seems like the stock clerks might leave a lot to be desired, but we'll see how the day goes. We'll see how it progresses as they start doing their jobs a little bit better. Uh, now, we have... Rural Outfitter's still doing its thing. I'm curious to see if uh, Plebs is doing any good work. Let's have a quick look at Rural Outfitter's though. So it is sitting on a 90% profit margin. Uh, what a tool over here. Actually has no profit margin whatsoever. That's interesting that it's just not doing well. Plebs is on a 53% profit margin. That's probably fair enough. It does just sell mostly consoles and uh, games. It has some DVDs. It has some CDs, but... Oh, yeah, it's also got TVs. That's another thing in there. But, you know, that's probably fine. Uh, so, oh, wow, this place is super busy. So, OBLS, full queues, as always. Uh, rural Outfitters, people are getting angry because they're not getting seen to very quickly. That is actually surprising. It really, it surprises me that people are actually, you know, so interested in going here for clothes. We might want to get another clothing store at some point. You know what? I might, I might legitimately open like a, <laughs> I might just open a lingerie business somewhere, you know? That's, uh, that's, that's, that's my goal here today. <laughs> I think this might be the last thing we do for, uh, for today's episode anyway. Uh, so let's see. Check out Counter. Let's throw a checkout counter just there. So store 30 is going to be a lingerie place. Great. Uh, we can put some dresses in there as well. So we got some dresses there. Uh, then we need shelves. So we got some shelves in like... Like this. Uh, sort of, I guess. Um, what way have I spaced this out? I've spaced it out in a really strange way. Hold on, let me pause for a second while I figure this out. Uh, so let's just double up on some of the shelves here. Because I don't think I need to space it out in as weird a way as I'm doing. Uh, so we'll do that kind of thing. And that should be fine. We'll see if that becomes a popular store. I'm slightly concerned that it might. Uh, because there's only going to be one person running it. So we'll see what happens. Uh, let's go to here. And this is going to be dresses on all of those racks. Then over here, we're going to go for um, women's lingerie and women's shoes. We're going to go for this kind of store. We can do, we could do like a polar opposite. We could go for like men's lingerie. <laughs> oh, that's a, that's an image. That's an image I don't know that I wanted in my life, to be honest. But, uh, sure. Let's get uh, a little bit more going on in here with the all this stuff. I feel slightly creepy doing this. Just to, I don't feel entirely cut. This is this is like it's like when you're going through a place that sells clothes and you're walking around looking at all the aisles and you accidentally walked up. It's like that episode of Father Ted. If you haven't watched Father Ted, by the way, it's such a brilliant piece of Irish comedy from the 90s. Go watch it. You will you will honestly you will love it. Um but it's like, uh, it's like that episode of Father Ted where they all get, like, lost in the lingerie section of a big department store. Uh, it's, or like when you're in a clothing store and you walk down an aisle without realizing, oh, this is the women's underwear. I'm a dude. This is a bit weird. And then you turn and walk away awkwardly. It's like, it's kind of like that. And then someone in the security office is looking at the cameras and going, ha, <laughs> it's, it's a bit like that. Anyway, um, it, we're going to call this frilly, uh, Shh, no, uh, stuff. There we go, frilly stuff. It's gonna be the name of that shop. Uh, we'll assign it to mall storage three. And we'll get ourselves some staff. So the cashier is gonna be, I want someone that's good at what they do. Uh, you're pretty good. Greg Nielsen. Sure, we'll get Greg. Good old, good old Greg. 
Uh, we'll get a stock clerk in here as well. Uh, we'll go for you. And you can start at, uh, like, 5 in the morning. So we'll just have frilly stuff open for, like, the, the standard amount of time. The kind of whatever time it was, like, 9 to 5 or something. Just to see if it ends up being a success. I'm also going to do, like, a red carpet in there. Because it's that kind of store. Uh, we could probably do some different carpet stuff over here as well. Which, to be honest, I think I will do. I'll go for the red carpet in that clothing store as well. Then is there, like, a... There's not a blue, is there? No. All right. Um, let's just stick with what we have in, uh, in plebs then. We'll see how that goes. I am curious to see if frilly stuff is a success, though. Definitely curious to see if that ends up being a successful business. Uh, as for McDillon's over here, it is actually doing a decent enough job. It is nice to see that people are still queuing up for some, uh, delicious fried food. I'm curious to see if it still ends up being uh, a busy operation in the middle of the night, because the numbers of people in there, I mean, it's definitely dwindling, but no, there's there's still a decent number of people that are that are going there. So that's pretty good to see. I guess there's a lot of people that are going to uh, OBLS in the middle of the night as well, so it does kind of make sense that they might get done with their shopping and go for some food. Now, OBLS, a lot of the shelves in there, good lord. A lot of those shelves are relatively empty. We definitely need more stock clerks in here, especially in the middle of the night. That's a bit of a concern right there. Anyway, let's have a look at the profit margins on... Well, we'll look at plebs first. 69% is not bad. Uh, McDillon's 67% will do the job. Mole Movies, 68%. Um, what else we got? What a tool... 29%, better than nothing. The camera shop is 87%, Rural Outfitters 92%. Uh, the Nerd Phone Store 81%. Appliance or Nerdsoft Store 83%. Appliance Shop 83%. OBLS 53%. That's not bad. That is not bad. Oh, Frilly stuff's open. Beautiful. Uh, <laughs> anyone gonna. Anyone gonna. Oh, hello. There we go. All right, fair enough. So, people are people are keen to uh, to buy some frilly stuff. Fair enough, uh, sir. Sir, that is a dress. Okay. I mean, I know he could be shopping for. I mean, he bought a dress. It could be a, a wife, a friend, a, anyone really. Could be for himself. Who am I to judge? But I mean, looking at look at those eyes for a second. Look at the, just for a second, just look at that face. Is that the kind of man you want to see in a dress? I don't think it is. Uh, but again, I'm not going to judge while I'm judging. I'm literally saying I'm not going to judge, and then I'm like, yeah, you don't want to see him in a dress. Uh, you know what? I'm going to stand by that statement. This guy, though, I wouldn't, I mean, he's buying those shoes. He'll look great in those. He will look, he will just look fabulous in those uh, shoes. <laughs> in those shoes. Uh, can I go ahead and connect up this other road over here? I'm curious to see if I could get away with it. Uh, just bringing even more people into the mall. That's probably a bit dangerous, but I want to do it at some point anyway, so... Let's get ourselves a road. Extend it all the way up to there. Extend all the way over to there. And eventually we'll extend it over to here as well, but we can't do it at the moment because there's a building in the way, so it's going to be like this. Uh, we could bring a road straight down, but we'll not worry too much about it. We are going to be opening up this road. We'll unlock it for 60,000. Obviously, we need to connect it as well, but that's going to be interesting. It's going to be really interesting having this, uh, having all four entrances to the plot of land open because it's going to cause... Well, I'll be honest, it's probably going to cause some issues. Uh, if, if we're being completely honest with ourselves, it is probably going to cause more issues than it's worth. But, you know, it's for the um, hashtag bants. That's a thing, right? That's that's a thing the young people uh, tweet, right? Hashtag bants. I knew it. I knew it was a thing. What is this? What is, what is this right here? That's not an area. Is that, uh, it's not, ro oh, no, 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 cancel that. It's not foundation, right? Remove foundation? Oh, it is. How did I miss that? How on earth did I miss that? How's the road going, by the way? Oh, it's getting there. 
Not bad at all. Uh, anyway, ladies and gents, I think I will leave it there for today. We are making some cash. We're not making much because we're spending 10,000 every day on, uh, on debt. But we're making cash, and that's the cool thing. So... Yeah, we're getting pretty close to being able to say that we've we've uh, we've put all of the bricks in the mall, uh, and by that I mean it's still going to take a little while before we're there. I want, I do want to put a big focus on um, the tier two and tier three stuff. My plan basically is to move the two shops we have up here into the mall, uh, so like here and here possibly, or maybe we'll split. I mean, this this shop already sort of exists over here, so we might have to just get rid of that one completely. Uh, but we'll see what we do. We could, uh, we'll get three more shops in here. Then I'd like to expand them all back and basically move all of OBLS into a giant space back here. I want to get another bowling alley in there. And then I think that's probably the point I'll start wrapping them all around. So, you'll have this central area, which is generally just a lot of relatively generic shops. This one sells tools, this one does clothes. Fair enough, this is lingerie, this is more video game oriented. So we have, they're slightly specialized, but they're still relatively generic. Then the shops that are on the sides, like up here and down here, I think that's gonna be the shops that are, you know, tier two and tier three. Those are gonna be the specialist shops that we have. Even though we had an episode titled Specialist Shops a couple of days ago, you get my point. Hopefully, hopefully you get my point. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you kind of for watching. This has been another Brick in the Mall Part 14. I do believe. Another Brick in the Mall Part 14? I think it is. Either way, thank you kind of for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye